it since 2001. They've won Brit Awards, they've represented the UK in Eurovision, and now they're back with their fourth studio album. We welcome the boys from Blue. Hey. Hey. Hello, hey. how are you? Very good. 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 You've changed. Yes. I hope it's for the it's, good. No, me. no, not in an arrogant way. You, just, your hair just looks good. matured, grown. Yeah, since we last saw you, you're, 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 you're very you're blue. Yeah, like blue. I like it. Did you do that for us? Sadly not. No. <laughs> oh. um, no, guys. Last time we had you in for a chat, you were just about to jet off to represent the UK in Eurovision, yeah. which Went is pretty well. cool. Yeah. How would you describe that whole experience? Brilliant. <laughs> no, it was wicked. Uh, to be able to go out there and represent your country was fantastic yeah. for us. And, um, it was, just, crazy, it was crazy, man. Crazy. Um, I, I love, well, personally for me, I loved it. And I'm sure I'm talking on behalf of the boys as well. But, yeah. you, know, we, you know, we come 11th, better than 12th. So, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Last. No, I think you, you guys did. We actually we got well. some points. We, you got, yeah, exactly. We got, got 12 from points. Bulgaria. And you finished 11th. Yeah. Well, and I think no, that's really actually, good. We actually finished fifth in the, in the public vote, but it was the... Um, the, the, the judging panel that scuppered us. They thought it was unfair that we were a known band taking yeah. part, so we got marked down. But the really? people actually physically phoned, we yeah. would have come fifth. Yeah. But you know what? We had a great time, we did it. We represented our country, we marked our 10th year anniversary. Exactly. We went out to Dusseldorf and had a good old gay time, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> we we'll have a gay old time. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, would you guys go and do it again? I reckon you should have another bash at it. Um, no. okay. We're leaving that to Bonnie no. Tyler. <laughs> we should name the song, I Can't. <laughs> Oh, we, we, we won't. We won't. <laughs> we tried. We tried. <laughs> now, Anthony, you mentioned Bonnie Tyler. Have yeah. you heard her song? Yeah. yeah? Don't, don't play it to us the other week. I really? Think it's, it's all right. I think she's got a cracking voice for an older bird. But is, is it a winning song now? Is it a winning I, song? I don't know. I, we're never going to win it, bruv. So, I mean, she... Do you know what? It's written by Desmond Child, who's like probably one of the, the biggest songwriters in the world. I mean, he wrote a lot of Bon Jovi tracks. Yeah. Curtis Stigus, Wonder Why We Hold On. You know, yeah. An amazing song. Um, and uh, it's a great song. Uh, Bonnie, she's got a great voice. Yeah. But you know what? It is a very political com mm. uh, competition. We found that. You, you, we kind of went into it knowing that, but we went in and had a good time, wanted mm. to represent our country. And we were like Bookie's favourite and yeah. stuff. And, and the song was a big tune. The yeah, thing is, I know, but the thing is, tune. sorry, but you, you, the thing changes all the like, Azerbaijan just come from nowhere. And won it. They're not even in Europe. No. <laughs> they're, in they're in the corner of Russia. It's the not so European song contest. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that off the back of that we 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 you know we got signed to Universal and, and basically um we reconnected with a lot of our fans yeah. out in Europe and ended up you know making the album which is out out in Europe at the moment. Eurovision definitely did up your Euro European profile. You released yeah. music over there before you came back over here yeah. um, to release music here in the UK. So how was that for you guys? It's a good thing. Well, that was the plan. Yeah. That was the oh, plan. was it the plan? That was the plan, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, um, when I got the call off Duncan, the f my first reaction was no. And he went, Si, listen, listen, now you've got to think <laughs> about this, bro. 125 million people are going to get to hear us, yeah? Right across Europe, and they will know blew up. back. We're our own record label now, bro. <laughs> Like, that's exactly how he said it. Okay, then exactly. And that's exactly. It's all my fault. So, <laughs> no, no. But, it, but it made sense. Yeah. It made, it made perfect sense. I mean, we looked at this, the, the market here, and we saw like you know the One Directions and the Wanted and all these other boy bands, and, and who's going to replicate what Take That did? We're not going to do that. So we thought, you know what? Let's go to because we're an international band. Let's let everybody yeah. else know, and maybe we can come back with a story. And it's worked so far. So here we are. There we go. You're not stupid, lads. You know what no. you're doing. It's mm. kind of. We went to business school. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We, 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 know how, we, we, we know how many eggs go in the cake mix. <laughs> how many, Lee? Well, it depends how big you want the cake. <laughs> 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 Let's play good, bro. Here we are. Hurt Lovers is the latest single. It's already been a top ten here around uh, Europe. Yeah. It's a big blue ballad. So why did you decide to bring it back here? And release well, it I think the thing is about the because everyone's like, away coming back with a ballad?" And mm. the thing is, the album is not like that. It's not. A, it's not a Westlife album. It's not full of ballads or mm. anything. Even though I love Westlife, I thought they were great. But um, just to clear it up. Um, basically, it's it's it was what we've been known for. You know, um, sorry seems to be the hardest word. Was one of our biggest hits around the world. Uh, uh, guilty, mm. breathe, breathe easy, easy if you come back. Um, you know, a lot of songs on the album. So we wanted to reconnect with people and, and for people to 
you know, didn't want to go so far left that people were like, oh, it's not blue, yeah. you know. Um, it's more of a setup single, this. You know, we wanted, yeah. it as, as Lisa, we wanted to do something that was kind of like blue still, and you can hear it, and it's definitely a blue racket. Yeah. And I think the, the second single, we're going to flip it and change the sound oh, and make cool. something, and probably, mm. probably go with Red One, who produced a lot of the album. Nice. So, like, we wanted to do something that wasn't too dissimilar, but at the same point, we wanted to kind of... I mean, we have got a bit of an older market as well because we're getting a bit old now, aren't we, lads? So, you know, we got. I'm only 29. I was 35. Speak for yourself. He was 35, and and you look good for your age. Like, you all look good for your age. Like, you've grown older gracefully. Matured into men. Exactly. Now our jaws have got bigger. You talked about that the other night, weren't we? Yeah. So let's talk about the video shoot for Hurt Lovers. What was that like? Freezing cold. Yeah. Shot in Berlin mm. in like this brightest sea area. And I remember it was a really, really, really cold day. And we had this tiny little Winnebago. And um, they were like filming it on these sand dunes. And we all had to go out and in the pouring rain. It was so cold. So we spent the whole day just like freezing our tears really off. Really sick afterwards. Oh, no. S- singing and then every time the camera went, well. we just tried to look not cold. <laughs> and every time <laughs> the camera stopped filming, we were just like putting coats around <laughs> and drinking cups of tea look like at that. The CD single, we're all freezing up, whatever off. Because yeah. Lee's like, I look like I'm crying. I'm like, Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cold. It, it was so cold. freezing. It was yeah. so cold. You must be used to video shoots now. You've yeah, done yeah, so yeah, many. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. I mean, the, shooting this video was like being like skibbity from the jungle days. It was just double time the whole time. Oh, yeah. That's why it's slow. That's why it's, you know, it's in slow. And, it, and it's in black so. and white. And I love, the, 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 I love, the, I love mm. the narrative that's going through it. The, you know, it's very simple. We didn't want to make something too complicated. We just wanted to, to for people to, You're again, letting the music speak for itself. No, we wanted people to reconnect with us. Again. Yeah. And you know, it's like I think that's yeah. the reason why this this single we've chosen this single. We wanted the video to reflect the single, mm. and, and, and that's the reason why. And we've it's done powerful. It. I think the power, it's a powerful video. You know, it tells a story of two lovers who are who are, who are hurting, and um, you know, it, it's quite uh, emotional because it starts off with a car crash, and you kind of don't know what's happening. Everything kind of goes in reverse. Mm. Stay with us. More chat from the boys from Blue after this break. Four handsome chaps joining me for a chat. I'm not going to complain. It's the boys from Blue. Hey! That's the From Blues. Yeah, the from Blues. We are the From Blue family. The From Blue family. We are. Uh, so, Hurt Lovers is taken from your fourth studio album titled Roulette. So yes. What else can we expect from the album? You mentioned it's not all ballads. Are we going to be in the club with some of these yeah. tracks? Yeah. 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 I mean, half of the album is definitely, I mean, that's what we're renowned for. The, um, not just the ballads, but you know, you got your all rises, mm. your flybys. But what we've done, obviously, with the red one sound and then our, our vocals on top of that, I mean, he's taken us to a different place. But people have got to go out there and support it to understand it. Yeah. But I mean, this is definitely yeah. the best album we've done. Oh, definitely. cool. And you were all involved with the writing process yeah. of yeah. this new album. No skip tracks. <laughs> Don't skip over, no go skip through tracks. all of them. So, was it important for you guys to really like get involved with writing it and? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, from the beginning. beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, you have, this we, is the thing about you guys. Yeah, yeah. We, we did the first single, All Rise. And then it's just kind of snowball from there. And I mean, it's it's a, it's great when you're involved in 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 the process of of what you believe mm. in. Do you know what I mean? And we've watched other bands get given songs all the time, and and they've been great songs, obviously. But you know, how can you sell something that it's not really part of you? Mm. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and truly believe in it, and mm. that's why and that's why we've done it ourselves. Cool. Now you've mentioned working with Redwell on the album, but rumor has it that you also were working with likes of Neo and Bruno Mars. Are they true? No, for the process of the album, oh. yes, but none of their songs made. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. We, 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 you know, hopefully we'll get back in the studio with, um, especially with Neo. Neo's a, you know, friend, and he's he's always, yeah. like I said, that he wants to get back, you know, work and work with us. And, yeah. You know, it's just not this album, but I'm sure on the next album we'll be hitting Neo up and That'd asking him cool, if he wants yeah. to get him. I just wanted to take it back to the drawing board. And yeah. I mean, we didn't have any collaborations on the first album, and this is kind of like us bringing ourselves back to mm, starting all over again. Just keep it all blue for now. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah why you know not? Because I mean? we didn't want it to be, oh, you do, what you do, Steve. You've gone away and you've got all and these big names. Exactly. Yeah, no. I mean, we yeah. had the opportunity, but we just wanted to do it ourselves. Cool. Well, you've been back on our TV screens recently, and that's because of the big reunion. Yeah. Um, so we had, we've had all the acts in for a chat and they've all been great so what was it like getting involved with the show and joining in god it was crazy wasn't it i mean i don't think anybody realized how big the big no. reunion was gonna be i mean it's taken off and look at ant and deck from doing their saturday night number one show single. going to number one yeah. i mean it's just crazy everybody is in a kind of you know um nostalgia, nostalgia yeah, trip at the minute and um, i guess we fit into that 
yeah. with, with our music yeah. in 10, 12 years ago. And everybody can remember like All Rise and Fly By. And a lot of people have been, especially on Twitter, going to it. Oh my God, I love that tune. And our Best of Blue um, album it's went back out. up into it's the top in 10 and I tune. So it's crazy how yeah. it's all just like spiraled really. I mean, we're really lucky that that we've had this opportunity to do Big Reunion, working yeah. with bands that we never worked with before, like The Witch and, and mm. Five. Um, obviously, we knew Atomic Kitten and we knew Liberty X because we used to do loads of gigs with them. But it was a great, great show. Oh, yeah, and we brilliant. can't yeah. wait to go back yeah. on tour. We're actually going on tour with, with them. We, we can't do all the dates because of other commitments in Europe. But we're going on, um, I think we're doing five or six dates awesome. on a big reunion tour. And we're really excited big, to well, get back four, on Well, four for sure. <clears throat> and we might be adding another two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, so we can't wait to be out there on tour with them. Fun. Yeah, it'd be wicked. Yeah. We're going to have a giggle. Now, <laughs> it was hinted that some of the acts were a little bit miffed when you guys joined mm. the show, like halfway through. Did you have any run-ins with anyone? Or was it just sort of no, like built they're, they're trying. I think... They're trying to make yeah, like a few little rifts between yeah. us, but that's they it. love it, don't they? Yeah, I think cool. They so it's all for banter and yeah. stuff. And, love and, it's for TV, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. It's true. And, you know, we've been home, we've been yeah. asked like in interviews and stuff, and it's been you know, on the edge of everyone's lips uh, to, to ask us exactly or clear up what's going on. But nothing's really going on. We're, we're all just happy to be back in yeah. it, if I'm honest. And yeah. everyone, I think all the bands are the same. You know, five, the five boys are wicked. I love all them guys. They give they're, good banter. They're, they're they give cool. good banter. They, you know, the, the kittens, we were on the same label as. I mean, everyone's going on about me and Liz because we was, like, you know, with mm. each other back in the day. But that was when we were kids. Exactly. You know what I mean? We were, yeah. I was a teenager was back like then. like 10 years ago. Yeah, right? 10 years ago. So it's hard to really comment on it. It's like... I don't know what what was what what did happen. I don't know. <laughs> you know I think the thing that for so, us was was the most like noticeable because we never worked with Bewitched and um, when we turned up to do the TV show, um, we heard a few rumours that the Bewitched girls weren't that complimentary mm. or that happy that we were in it. And Idel, who's the lead singer girl, came straight up to us straight as soon as we walked in. She says, "Right lads, I'm going to be completely honest. Didn't think you should be doing it. I slagged you off on TV." don't really know you, it's nothing personal, I just don't think you should be in it. And then actually when we did the gig at the Hammersmith Apollo, she came up to us backstage yeah. and she said, can I have a word with you lot? She put her arms around us all and she said, I'm so glad that you're here, I'm really yeah. sorry about what I said, I think you lot are wicked. And um, you know, <laughs> she goes, I, I, it's so good that you did the show. Well there's going to be obviously, a, I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be another show of this and it's good for us to be the beginning of yeah, the first bands exactly. that were on it. So yeah. it's a, you know, that's what I'm really happy about because I think the show's going to go on to live for, for many years because it's been such a success. Success, and bring yeah. everybody back. Exactly, you know I mean? a lot of and people do want to come back into I, it. Well, of course, course they do. It's a great, it's a great pl- I mean, it's a great platform, and and you know, it's it, it was a great era than like the late yeah. nineties, early two thousand. And so it's all coming back slowly is, but surely. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, Steps, Jen Duncan, Steps so. did it as well, didn't Steps they? Steps did it. So yeah, it's it's a good time it's, right um, now in pop music. Good to see they bring back next year. Yeah, definitely. Be interesting. That'd be really interesting. interesting. Oh, my money's on Eternal. Really? Oh, you know I'd love Eternal. My money's on Let Loose. E seventeen. I think he's seventy bit of damage. I think damage. What about aqua? Good. Yeah. So yeah, I think that'd be good. Um, within the big reunion, who impressed you the most when you came back and saw them all? Who were you guys like? Well, Personally, yeah. five, five, five boys. Yeah. Mm. I got to say, five. actually, Carrie Katona really impressed yeah. me. I, I thought, thought she, she did good. a great yeah. job, and um, I watched her singing in rehearsals, and I was like, wow, she can sing. She, yeah. she did a great job, and uh, if, I thought she. she if, if you listen was to all brilliant. of the, the old hits, though, it's Carrie's voice that's the root of everything. It's like she's the main voice. Mm. And Tash won't like that. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got to have Playing with fire there, mate. <laughs> Just saying what I hear. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying what I hear. I think she was good for the show. She was great for the show. And I, I think she did a really, really good job. What did you say that for? It was, it was, About the root. <laughs> it's me. I'm the root. I'm the root. <laughs> Not Kerry. <laughs> it's me. My voice. Sorry. Um, now, guys, as you mentioned earlier, you're taking part in the big reunion tour. You're only yeah. doing a few dates. Is that because you're, you've got some dates of your we're own? We're going to get our asses kicked now. <laughs> yeah, we've got, we've got, <laughs> we're we're going to get beaten up by some kids. I'm going to come trouble. with scratches all down. Redhead one in particular. I'm, I'm moving you away from the trouble. Oh, oh, so let's talk yeah. about the tour. So you're we've got on the big reunion. You've got your own tour. We've got our own tour starting the 21st of May cool. in Europe. OK, and you're going to bring it over here? Well, we're starting off in here. We're starting the 3rd of May. 3rd of May here. Then we go on tour with a big reunion and then we go in Germany and because what was really nice else. what was really nice was the fact that you know we, we already had the European tour booked and um, yeah. because of the reunion there's a new fan fan base not yeah. new fan but, but, but reconnected yeah exactly so it was like do you know what why don't we do we need, this is our it's our backyard yeah. let's put on a yeah. show here yeah and the boom, demand is there out. do it do not go anywhere if you don't want to hear more chatter from the lovely guys from Blue straight after this I even rap I think 
It's nice to have Blue back in the world of pop. Still join us for a chat right ooh, now. Ooh, ooh, thank you. Are you sure it's nice? Yeah, it is nice. Still, Do you really think nice. it's Still. nicely? I don't know whether you're being facetious. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, no, it's nice to have you back. So it's very I... genuine look then. <laughs> yeah, you're <being laughs> over genuine. No, no, honestly, it's very it's nice. really nice to have you back. <laughs> I can't wait for you lot to go home. Yeah, Blue. <laughs> Can't be waiting here for no, an hour. I'm joking. <laughs> no, now nice. you released your first track back in 2001. Now, yeah. did you think? You'd ever be making music as blue right now. That's crazy, isn't it? What back then? Yeah, no, well, a decade later, you're back still making music as blue. Do, Did do you, you ever think? Are you saying anything like that? Saying like I'm not, I don't want to be doing this in ten years? No. Do you remember? I remember do you remember saying you something like that? Yeah, like yeah that? I remember saying, oh, man, imagine being in your thirties, do, like, doing all right still. Yeah. Look what happened now. <laughs> and, and, and we can't wait to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ten it's years. It's funny, isn't it? I, this is your funny. Life changes. Do you know what I mean? I remember us having that conversation in Japan or something. Yeah. I remember it. Yeah. I can't imagine myself the... being forty, but then yeah. it's like it's not that like, far off, really. And then no, I don't, I don't think I'm going to feel yeah, any then. different to uh, the way I feel now. I'm from, you know, I think when you you ask older people like your grand and people, they're like, oh, I still feel the same. But it's just your old, your body yeah. gets older, your mind doesn't. But if you can still hold a note in 40, like 10, well, well, the thing years is, time, when you're, it's, it's like Anthony was saying, like when you're when you're 20, you think 30 is old. Yeah. It's true. So it's I mean, true. And when you hit 30, you're like, right, it's, yeah. just, it's not that old. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> another 10 years. All right. Yeah. Hopefully, we can carry on for as long as possible. And you got the tunes behind you, so why not? Yeah. Um, how do you think the world of pop has changed since you guys oh, first started out? Is it complete? Is it hard or easy? It's, for it's strange because. We, we keep saying this in different interviews that so, there's loads of social media, isn't there? Yeah. It's Twitter and there was MySpace and Bebo, Bebo, whatever it's called. <laughs> I don't know. And like you just you just got to get your head around it. And then we come from a time where there was record signings in HMV and yeah. Woolworths, and we were selling cassettes, wasn't there? Top of the pops and record. We had records, uh, different mixes for our tracks and stuff. And now it's like, I oh, just download a track or yeah. or nick it. Oh, there is no it. HMV anymore, no. I and mean, there's no Woolworths. I'll take it off no YouTube. Pops. You know, and so it's all it's all about the social media. It's yeah. like you've got to go on Twitter and promote yourself. It's I like, think for us, it's, it's about weird. To, it's for now. It's about, it's about touring. You know, we want to be yeah. on. We want to be on tour. We love yeah. being on tour. I love living out a suitcase. Um, it's it's. it's, feel, it's like yeah, I, I feel more, I feel more happy with a stick and a red, red bag on the back and just. Skipping down the lane. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just. Lit this hobo. Yeah, lit this hobo. <laughs> <laughs> I said hobo, not homo. Uh, okay. <laughs> I am not the littlest homo. <laughs> um, now, most boy bands either split up or fall out or, and they call it quits. But you, whereas you guys, you know, you took a break, but you're generally friends, you've come yeah. back. And We're good mates. We always have been good mates. I mean, I joined the band when I was 17, 16 years old, and it's like, these are my brothers. I grew up with these boys, you know what I mean? From when I was, I was only a little nipper. Yeah. Um, and um, <laughs> wasn't that little? Is, <laughs> what? Well, I wasn't that. No, I was probably like a giant yeah, man. I was tall when I saw it. What? Lee? I'm Lee Ryan. What happened to you, man? In six months. What? Leave the curtains. Shut up. <laughs> I was in a suit, innit? I was 14 in a suit <laughs> and my Gucci loafers on. Oh, right, bruv. How you doing? You alright, son? Oh, what the fuck? What kind of roofs? Uh, I'm an Ashfield, aren't I? <laughs> Now, Lou, you were tipped for great solo success after um, yeah, and it went f yeah, after right, Blue. Yeah. yeah, no, but you had um, a couple of bashes at it. You had some great singles. You changed different labels, and it turned a bit sour. Why do you think that was? What happened there? Uh, I, do you know what I think? What, like for me personally, I was like, I tried to, I wanted to do something, mm. and it just, it was hard because I wanted to make like more kind of soul. I wanted to do like Marvin Gaye, Donny Hathaway and real kind of like Michael McDonald. And I wanted to do all these kind of influences that I've had over the years. And I never got with anyone that understood what I wanted to do, if I'm honest. Like, um, I even got with a record label once that one pulled me in and said, right, I want you to do um, soul. I want you to do George Michael, um, Elton John. I want you to, you know, really do all your soul. I was like, thank God, this is brilliant. This is where I want to be. And then I pulled into the other meeting and they went, right, no soul, just pop. And um, I just didn't know how to attack, to, to be an artist when the, the people that I was working with have totally different ideas that, from, from me. And that's a, a, kind of a common thing, I think, that happens with a lot of artists. That's good that you've got control and you, yeah, can, well, we, you, you have you the have, say. You, you have to become business savvy. Yeah, it's true. And, and the way everything is, like you say, through social media, the business, yeah. music business has changed so much. I mean, you actually hold the power, so it just depends if you want to take a risk on yourself and roll, you know, go to the roulette table. 
Yeah. Which is yeah, the name of the album. <laughs> All right, is it? Hey. <laughs> and Simon, your solo career got off to a flying start with some big chart hits yeah. and a couple of albums. So talk us through your solo experience. What was it like going out, doing it alone? It was weird because, um, you know, the, the, I remember going out there and performing for the first time and looking to the left and right. I remember singing the first verse and putting automatically putting the mic down, waiting for someone else to sing. And then mm -hmm. I realised, oh, damn, it's, it's all me, like... And I was miming as well. <laughs> <laughs> so it, didn't, never a good it, it, didn't, it wasn't a very good look at the time. No. But, um, you know, I, I had a lot of support. And, um, you know, same as Lee, I was quite lucky um, in, in what I was doing because maybe because the record company didn't believe I was going to sell anything. So yeah. they just said, just do what you want to do and we'll just take a risk and you'll probably sell 30,000 albums. And, did 1.2 million and then there was we like, go who's laughing now wow okay uh, uh, uh. but then the, the label fell apart after that that for me I feel that it would that was meant to happen for me to go through what I'm going through well what I went through then to bring me to the place mm. I am today and I think that goes for all of us cool. and, and, and I think this was always gonna be the the last hurdle blue getting back together yeah nicely said duncan and anthony your biggest success apart from blue was being in the west end yeah. duncan you starred in chicago and legally blonde anthony blood brothers so yeah. what was it like stepping away from the music and going into musicals and on the stage it's something both always wanted to do wasn't it Anne? yeah i mean it was yeah i mean blood brothers for me was was my favorite musical growing up as a kid so it was i always deep down would love to have been in it you know regardless if i was in blue or not and when I got the call to say there's an open audition, I don't know what it was like with Dunk, but I actually went to an audition. I didn't actually phone me, go, oh, we want that guy, Anthony from Blue. Um, <clears> I had to go for an audition like this, room full of people, and just go in one by one, and if you got the job, you got it. If you didn't, then you didn't. You know, it, was, it wasn't a case of what I did before got me the job. Not at all. It, Bill Kenwright, whoever, know, whoever knows him, he's, he's very um, strict of what he does, and he cares about his job regardless of who you are. And, it was, you know, I just went there and I remember. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Ryan's acting ability, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Duncan, I saw you in Legally Blonde doing your thing. Did you? Yeah, it was good. Do you know what? I um, I grew up doing a lot of musical theatre as a kid. That was, like, kind of my, <laughs> my always my thing. I was mm. always known at, at school as that kid who was always on a stage and always doing the musicals. And um, that was kind of the direction I always wanted to go in in my life and I was very lucky to get into Blue and actually I met Anthony first, that's how we, we started. Yeah. Me and Anthony used to talk about musicals and all, the all that kind of stuff back yeah. in the day. We used to turn up to a place in Golders Green called the G-Spot at karaoke yeah, man. back in the day and, um, and, and, and then basically there we both were getting an opportunity after yeah. Blue to do, to do West End stuff and for me that was always my passion to be on a on a West End stage. I've never done a musical. I have all you boys, I'm the only one who's done a musical. Do you think you'll be musical. good at a musical? Yeah. I don't think he could dis he could handle the discipline. Because you like to, yeah, you like to and travel do a one night stuff. or two, you, two or three nights and then... Could you do that for a year? I'd like to do Jesus Christ Superstar um, because I think it's an amazing play. Can you sing? Uh, karaoke, does that count as What's singing? your favourite song to sing at karaoke? Plan B, she said, because I like doing the rap. <laughs> oh, really? Really? Go on, can you rap? Oh, no, I'm not, I can't do it now in front of you, Lord. Oh, I can't. Go on. Well, How can I? This is just you embarrassing. Said I love you, I love sing it. Show. I don't know that song. Sing it. I don't, I don't oh, know the raps. Oh, 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 oh. Shall I do it for me? <laughs> yeah, oh, go no. On. The jury don't look like they're buying it. It's just making me nervous. Arms crossed, screw face like I'm trying it. The eyes fix on me like a murderer's. They want to lock me up. I throw away the key. They want to me, send me down. <laughs> Even though I told them she... Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> you remembered all that. Chica, 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 chica. I do you remember all that. Yeah, real, I do it on the karaoke all the time. That's really good. Oh, my God, that's embarrassing. We should do it, I'd love to sing that with you. Would you? Yeah, I'd love to. There we go, Lee. Yeah, like, right, innit? Let's, innit? You, you know do the I mean? proper singing yeah. and I just go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm up for that, as long as there's a prize. <laughs> Lee, we're going to the karaoke. I'll embarrass myself doing that again and you can actually... Yeah. Sing properly. Pretend I'm plan B. <laughs> well, guys, the big question is, are Blue actually back for good now? Or is this, are you sort of doing this for a bit and then no, you're going to go off and do separate stuff? We want to be back, back. No, for back. as long as possible, yeah? for as long yeah. as people want us. Yeah, I, mean, I think the main objective is for us is to keep touring, keep making albums and just, you know, put music into people's lives. Thank you so much for talking Thank to us. Today. It's been fun. Thank Thank you. You. It's, been, it's been very funny. I, I, I don't think I've laughed so much. <laughs> we want to like make this you laugh. Year. Yeah, it's been cool. It's been nice seeing you guys. I like your hair. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks very much. I love that it's blue. <laughs> did you honestly do that for us? Do you know, she did that for us, she said. Oh, yeah, I did that for she you. She did it all for us. Yeah, <laughs> only for blue. It wasn't blue for 
a few months ago. It's fine. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.